Here's the Redlands, grafted jujube, right there. Some of these are huge. And some of them are nice sized, which is stellar. And then I have my regular jujube. This is the sugar cane, or maybe the honey jar. There's the size difference. These two to the left are the honey jar. This one is the Redlands. Look at the color difference. Man, they are beautiful. All right. I love the sugar cane jujube. And I'm excited to try this other one because this is nice and large. But just going to do a taste test between the two and talk about their texture, the differences between the two varieties. My understanding is that sugar cane was bred here in the US and also the Redlands crossbred. So first one I'm gonna try is the sugar cane. I've had thousands of these. They grow forever. And just to update you, I mean, I still have sugar cane jujubes that are still growing. It's crazy, look at all these. And I've already picked thousands. So I got uh, an early season and a late season. We'll go and try this out. So, good color, very small. I like them when they're crisp like this, when they haven't turned to that. This has a different flavor. It has an enhanced honey type flavor, date-like. And this also has a honey type flavor, but it's crisp. So it's kind of like taking an apple and dipping it into a little bit of honey. Really, really good. Very sweet, crisp, not ultra juicy. That little seed in the middle. I don't know, this sugar cane this year is more sugary than last year. And uh, it seems to be a little bit more juicy. So let's try the first year of the Redlands from the grafted variety. Here's the Redlands, larger than a ping pong ball. It's pretty good sized, man. That thing is nice and big. Has a little bit of damage down here at the bottom, or maybe it's already starting to turn into a date at the bottom, but really good color. I like them when they are brown like this with a little bit of green. I know it's staying crisp and it hasn't started to ripen too much. All right, let's give it a taste. All right, really crispy. Color is slightly different. It's more white in the middle, green towards the outside. Maybe if I bite into this brown area, that could change. But the flavor, it tastes a little bit more, as some of my friends say, woody. Not in a bad way. Like it doesn't taste like you're eating wood, but it has like this little wood type flavor in there. It is almost as sweet as the sugar cane, not quite. But um, man, the crunch and the amount that is in here is substantial. So I'm actually really digging this. It's not, I like the size better than the sugar cane. The sugar cane is very, very small. It's like mini cherries that you could just throw in your mouth and um, eat, but don't bite down too hard because there's a nice seed in the middle. Let's see how big the seed is on this thing. All right, there it is. There's the size of the seed. It is not a uh, free stone by any means. You have to eat around this thing and for it to come off. Maybe it's easier once it's dried, but um, the seed is almost the size of some of the sugar cane. Look at the size. 
And this is a very small one. It's, it's half the size of where it will be or should be before you eat it. But half the size, really good flavor. I like it. I had a Shang Z the other day, and I'll do another taste test later. But the Shang Z Jujube that is up there, um, that one was really, really sweet. It was more sweet than this Redlands, but I, I am enjoying the Redlands. Let's bite down towards the end here and see if this is turning into a date or not. Okay, it is. There, it's starting to turn into a date. Don't know if it was heat damage or not, but it was really good. I like these in the desert a lot more than apples. The apples that grow here, you have to pick them early or they tend to get too mealy. And uh, it, they're just not as good. They're, they lose their crispness when they become mealy. The flavor is just not right. It almost is kind of soggy. The jujube, if you eat it when it's green, has no flavor to it. And then when, or a woody flavor, but then when it starts to turn brown and you eat it, it tastes really, really good. So um, Redlands, yes, I would totally recommend growing the Redlands simply because of the size and the flavor is almost, almost as good as the sugar cane. But if you're all about sh flavor, go for the sugar cane or the honey jar. Those pack a good punch in the small little bite-sized pieces. These... This is a really good one. Good variety. I'm glad that I grafted it. I'm going to hopefully let it continue to grow. So hopefully this information was beneficial for you. If not, I'm sorry. That sucks. But have a great day.